Today we cooked uh, sea bream, cooked in its own stock table side with celery, yuzu and toasted wild rice. It's a light dish, a clean dish but full of flavour. So the process isn't actually too too tricky. We get some delicious large sea bream. They're lightly brined, just wrapped 10 minutes in a 6% brine. What this does, it makes sure the seasoning's always consistent and it firms the flesh just a little bit. Uh, the bream very thinly sliced. Served with some dressed celery, dressed uh, cucumber and yuzu for fragrance, for texture. With, with the celery, we shave that because I want a luxurious mouthfeel. If it was kept bigger or, or sliced or chopped into brinoise, it would feel quite clumsy, quite bitty. By having it almost like a noodle, it adds to that kind of slippery indulgence almost to the dish. So the herbs we use on this dish, we deliberately keep them quite big. I like that pop when you're eating, uh, the pop of flavour, the burst of flavour, rather than a flavour that is in every mouthful, ingrained, monotone. I like it to be a bit more like fireworks as such. So. Uh, broth is made from the bones, and so the bones and the heads of the fish are roasted with some garlic and that's infused in a dashi with a little bit of dashi vinegar as well. That's split with some ginger oil that's poured over it table side to cook it. We also scatter in some toasted wild rice, toasted seaweed and that adds a kind of savoury crunch to the dish as well. It's layered, so at the bottom you've got the dressed cucumber, on top of that the sea bream, on top of that the celery shavings, some fennel tips, some chives, fresh yuzu grated on top and then the dish is brought to life by that broth served piping hot, split with the ginger oil, that's poured over table side by the waiters, lid sat on top and then the fish just gently poaches for about 30 seconds before the, uh, the lid is then uh, revealed. It's really important to have diversity within the menu, so the bream dish very light, very feminine, uh, not just across the fish dishes, across the meat dishes. For starters, it's important to have something familiar, something esoteric, something rich, something light. 